Secretary of State John Kerry officially announced today that ISIS is guilty of committing genocide against Christians and other religious and ethnic minorities in Iraq and Syria. There was a lot of pressure to do this from Congress by a deadline of today. Naming these crimes is important, but what is essential is to stop them. That will require unity in this country and within the countries directly involved. And the determination to act against genocide, against ethnic cleansing, against the other crimes against humanity must be pronounced among decent people all across the globe. I'm joined now by John Kirby, spokesperson for the State Department. Thank you very much for being with us. What is the practical effect of this designation? How will this change anything that we do in the war against ISIS? Well, there's a couple of things here, Andrea. First of all, we've already intensified our efforts here in the United States against this particular group, even from a military perspective, and that intensification will continue. I mean, we've been very clear and a leader in this coalition to degrade and defeat this group. Uh, but what this does today is it lays out for history's sake what we believe in the United States to have occurred against so many innocent people in Iraq and in Syria. It also formally recognizes the suffering of these victims. It also, we hope, will galvanize, as you just played in the Secretary's clip there galvanized the world and, and even others in this country uh, to continue to look at this from a, a, a perspective of the real suffering and the atrocity the atrocities that have been visited upon all these people. And then lastly, what we hope it will do is help to continue the effort, which we have very, very much started, to collect the evidence and analyze it and to keep that information flow going uh, to, to, to make sure that uh, future victims uh, and the future suffering uh, can be a Averted, if not, then certainly documented uh, for history's sake. In addition to documenting this, is there ever a possibility that you would have ISIS leaders brought to justice in the, in the Hague? I know the United States is not a member of the International Criminal Court, but could you imagine action that would be taken against ISIS leaders, or is that really far-fetched? Uh, well, that, that's really, uh, as the secretary said, a, a decision for uh, you know, other people to make. And certainly, uh, you know, we, we would defer to the international legal vehicles available uh, to make those kinds of decisions and determinations. What he was talking about today was, was our view uh, and stating it clearly as U.S. policy that this is genocide. And the other thing I would say is that we have been acting as if these are genocidal acts since almost the beginning of this fight, back to August of 2014 when Mount Sinjar was surrounded. And then that Yazidi population was about to be wiped out. That's when the United States started conducting airstrikes uh, to try to prevent that act. So from almost the beginning, uh, we've been acting in every way, certainly militarily, as if these were acts of genocide. Now, there was a congressional mandate to do this by today, but only yesterday, 24 hours ago, the State Department said that more legal uh, examination was required and, and suggested that there would not be a designation today. What happened? Well, we, did, we didn't think yesterday afternoon that we were going to be able to meet, meet the deadline, and we wanted to be open and honest about that. We didn't want to look like we were hiding anything. So with our best estimate at the time yesterday afternoon, uh, we wanted to be honest about the fact that we didn't think we were going to get there. The secretary stayed at it. He made the staff stay at it. He, uh, they worked through the remaining issues uh, yesterday afternoon and into the evening uh, to the point where uh, he believed we were at a stage where he could go ahead and make this determination today. And I would say certainly we respect the, the deadline that was put on us by Congress, but I do want to stress that the, considering the issue of genocide by Daesh is something that has been going on now for months. And as I said, even back to August of 2014, uh, we were acting in many ways like this, in fact, was genocide. So it's not like we weren't focused on this. It's not like we didn't have teams of people looking at this for many, many months. Uh, but yes, we did want to respect that deadline. And when you refer to Daesh, it's uh, what I was referring to as the ISIS, uh, right. a different name for the same terror. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.